talk about an ensemble, like this movie has everybody. The cast involved is obviously incredible. I'm still surprised every day of who's in it. I'm like, wait, they're in the movie too? When you put a great script like Bullet Train and you put David Leach on and you start sprinkling in great other actors like Joey King and Zazie Beetz and Brian Tyree Henry, you're just building the best team up. They're having a fucking wonderful time. <laughs> I'm Tangerine, he's Lemon. Like the fruit? Tangerine and Lemon, they're trained assassins. They're both a little bit on edge. They're brothers. They're twins? Yeah, I'm not so sure they're twins. They're partners, they're like husband and wife. Why want my lemon. Because you're sour. No one likes lemons. Sparlocks, mate. Lemon meringue pie. When was the last time you ate a lemon meringue pie? Lemon drizzle cake? I'm sorry, are you talking about lemons? They bicker between each other. You ever watch Thomas the Tank Engine? Here we go. For lemon, Thomas the Tank Engine has become a mechanism of how to actually tell the good guys from the bad. It's never failed them. That motherfucker's definitely a diesel then, isn't he? If you mention Thomas Tank Engine one more time, I'm gonna shoot you in the fucking face. The energy and chemistry between Brian Tyree Henry and Aaron Taylor Johnson uh, was immediate. Brian brings the fire every day. The minute we met each other, it was already like, oh, we instantly know exactly where we're going. It's really so much fun, man. You're on your bachelor, dude. Congrats, mate. <laughs> <laughs> For me, this film is also about luck. And I think Kimura's always felt unlucky his whole life. I think he's carrying that around, and I think actually this is a moment when his luck turns around for him. <laughs> Andrew's character is the heartbeat of the movie. You know, he has a lot of action background, but he's an incredible dramatic actor. I remember him sending an audition tape. It was the opening scene of the movie. We're watching the tear roll down his cheek and we're like, he's it, we got the part, we gotta call him right now. Like, we love this guy. This whole experience has been a bit surreal. I never thought I'd be in the same film as Hiroyuki Sanada and people on this cast. Like, I'm fundamentally just so honored to be working with him. His mom, he kidnapped me and he said that he's going to hold me for ransom. I'm sorry, I get captivated by white girl tears. I play Prince, who has a British accent throughout the film, so I've gotten to play with a dialect, which is awesome. Oh, look at that. We are right on schedule. It has been quite an incredible experience making Bullet Train. So, Leech, I'm going to scream, I am the White Death, and then take my own little fucking cue. Right, Prince is very cruel. <laughs> she uses her sweet looks and her tender voice to get her way and get what she wants. And it gets her into a lot of trouble. Kid, please. I'm scared. I don't want to be alone. Please. I got it. Every time I step on this set as Prince, I know it's going to be a great day because I just, this character could not be more fun to play. I took this. I didn't want to leave it. You're not going to let me get hurt. Be honest. Be honest. You shouldn't even know that. Elder is a florist now, but uh, he was also a member of the crime family. As an actor, playing those totally different kind of character is a challenging, but also it's very enjoyable part for me. The sensitivity and wisdom and just gravitas that Hiroyuki Sanada brought to the Elder's character, I mean, it was amazing. <laughs> Fuck, that thing is hot. When you have so many characters crossing over, it's really fun to find characters like the Hornet that can kind of be influencing the scenes behind it. And you maybe don't necessarily notice what they're doing until it's too late. Do you know how hard it was to find that snake? I just thought it'd be really fun, you know, to be doing something lighthearted. It just was really appealing to me and playing at this sort of heightened spy thing. One little prick from this, you know what happens. Yes. Your blood congeals, clogging your veins, you bleed on your fucking I said head. yes! I feel like I'm just kind of having a laugh at the whole genre. The hornet stings, bitch!
We were looking for someone to play the wolf. Kelly came up with this idea of like, what if we find a great Latin singer? We were like, you know what, let's roll the dice. You know, this guy, Bad Buddy, is kind of cool. <laughs> He's a massive superstar on this planet. He was really interesting on a little stint he had done on Narcos. That was exciting to us. He'd had some experience. Encuéntrame al hijo de puta que hizo esto. And he read really quickly, and we had a meeting with him. And he killed it. That's before I shoot. Yeah, before you shoot. He ended up being one of the most dedicated, hardest working guys on the train. And it was an exciting moment to see him bring the wolf to life. I come here for revenge. Can we just take your time out here? Well, the wolf has suffered a lot. The wolf is wolf encabronado por ahí. The Train is an action-packed, entertaining, full-on comedy with phenomenal actors. We were really fortunate to get this incredible, star-studded, global cast of characters. Everyone's just so in it and so dedicated and great. And everyone's acting their asses off. Like, everyone is really given some great performances, and everyone really is having fun with each other, so you'll see that.